Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share this new Let's Play that I have for you guys. Now this is an idea that actually came to me today and originally I wasn't going to do a Let's Play for this. It was just going to be a personal um, game file that I wanted to do for myself but I thought it was a really interesting concept so I kind of wanted to share it with you guys. So if you guys follow me and have been subscribed to me for at least a month now you'll know that I uploaded a trailer park speed build called Del Sol Trailer Park. Um, and I thought it would be really interesting to create the characters that I was imagining when I was building the trailer park and just pretty much play with them and come up with a storyline. So we are in the first trailer right now and this is um, Bonnie Crow. And she is our crazy grouchy cat lady, although she looks pretty happy right there. Um, so she's going to be one of the characters in our story here. Now, the other characters are Hannah, who's a single mom, um, who has a daughter, Maddie. And now when I was building this trailer park, um, I made the kids room in her trailer for a boy. But I redecorated to make it for a girl because I decided that I want to keep playing this family and I want to play when Maddie gets older and I want to play as her and I want her to um, start her own family and I like playing as girls so I was like I'm just going to make Maddie a girl. Um, but I also thought well let's, let's spice it up a little bit. So there is a trailer and this is the trailer that is supposed to have the hippie couple in it. I decided instead of having both of them be hippies I was like well how about we make the guy just kind of like I don't know not not so much of a bro but kind of like a musician he's got tattoos um, maybe he's a bartender but he does like weekend gigs on the side um, he's a little rough around the edges but he's a very nice guy he wants to start a family um, and then let's have him um, not engaged to, but in a relationship with this hippie kind of Coachella. She's a little bit self-absorbed. She's obsessed with Instagram. Let's have him be in a relationship with her and they live in that trailer together because eventually I want him and his name's Brady to end up with Hannah, the single mom. So I'm going to see how all of this plays out. Now, it is going to be a little bit weird because as you can see, I had to add everybody to the same family because all of the trailers are on one lot. So um, it's going to be interesting though and it's actually going to make it, I think personally, I mean it'll be a little bit challenging. I think it's going to make it like really fun and there's going to be times because I know in my previous Let's Plays there's been times where I'm not sure what to do or I get bored or I'm like you know there's just like awkward silence. I don't think that's going to happen here because there's always going to be something going on with one of the residents um, and especially having a toddler in the mix having we have cats here we have Xena and we have Peanut the Sphinx you know Peanut is kind of a wild one he just wanders around the park um, I think it's going to be very interesting. There's not going to be a dull moment in this Let's Play. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, we are here. Um, this is Bonnie's trailer. Um, I'm not going to like go through the trailers too much here because I went through them in my speed build. So if you haven't checked that out yet, please do because I go into these builds um, more in detail, but yeah, she's sitting there. She's watching her shows. Um, the cats are just kind of running running around the house um, She needs to go feed them We're gonna go ahead and check on Hannah Delaney. She's our single mom She is getting her daughter some peas. I'm gonna change this to pink not that it matters But I was this was designed for a single mom with a boy um, and she's a girl and she's a girly girl. So I'm gonna change that um, later, but she just fed her. So let's see, let's check on her needs here. Her fun's down, so we are going to let her out and just have her play. Um, let's see here. So we will pick her up and just put her down. Oh, put Madison down here. And then we're just gonna have Madison go in her room and play with her toys and then we're gonna check on our couple here so they are getting closer um, I think he's in his winter outfit now but as you can see yeah he's kind of like a 
I don't want to say like a punk rocker. That's not the right term. He kind of has like this Adam Levine thing going on, if that makes any sense. Like he just, he's got tattoos, you know, he's very sexy. Um, he's a little rough around the edges, but he's still very much like a down to earth, like family kind of guy. So he's talking to his girlfriend, Mila, and like I mentioned earlier, Mila is kind of like this hippie, Coachella, kind of like obnoxious person. <laughs> um, she's very obsessed with herself. Um, she's a little bit of a snob. Um, like, she just, and it's kind of hard to explain because she's not, like, you know, they live in a trailer park, so she's not that much of a snob, but like, she doesn't like lowbrow humor. You know, there's certain things that she's kind of uppity about. Um, and so there's a lot of things that, and you'll find as we're going through this Let's Play, that they don't really see eye to eye on, but our single mommy or Hannah, we're gonna find has a lot more in common with Brady than Mila does. So that's gonna cause some issues. There's definitely gonna be some drama here. So um, let's go ahead. I think what we should do first is get ourselves all acquainted with each other. So we're gonna have Hannah um, say hi to her neighbors here. So, we're just going to, I don't want to do romance yet. We're not going to cause drama just yet. But we're just going to get to know. Um, we're going to start finding that we have a lot more in common. She's family oriented. He's family oriented. Um, and oh no, why is our little Madison sad? Okay, so she is in need of something fun to do. So, we're just going to have her open this. Oh no, there's no toys in there for her. Oh no, all right, well, go ahead and play with something. I didn't realize that the toys didn't, the toy boxes didn't come with toys. I thought that they always came with toys. I don't know, guys, that's, that's new to me. I feel like that's not a thing. I feel like usually there's like at least one or two toys in there. Okay, so she's going to keep herself entertained um, while her mom, I guess, stepped out for a minute. I mean, I'm going to guess that she's old enough, like four to be left alone, but maybe not left alone in the house. <laughs> that might be a little bit dangerous, um, but oh well. She'll be fine, I'll keep an eye on her. Okay, so they are getting to know each other. Um, I don't know why he got upset, because um, now it's saying I need to apologize. This is not going well so far. Um, so we're just going to, hmm, I don't know, it's very strange. I'm going to tell him a funny story. Okay, it's getting a little bit late. We got acquainted. She's hungry. We're going to go inside and we're going to get ourselves something to eat. And then we're going to put Maddie to bed. So I think I'm just going to have her make like a quick meal for herself. So she's just going to have like a salad, you know. She's also very fit. Um... I wanted to make her active, but I just made her ambitious instead. Um, but she does frequent the gym a lot. Um, she tans, as you can see. That's not her natural skin tone. Um, so she's kind of a gym rat. She kind of has like that Guido thing going on. Um, but she's very, very family oriented. Like her life is all about her daughter. It's all about getting the top of the, of her career to support her daughter. Like that is what her goal is right now. Um, speaking of which I am actually going to, so this is the shared money right here, this $37,000, um, between everyone. But I think that might be a little bit high, um, because that means everyone has about $10,000 and we don't want, we want this to be a little bit more of a challenge. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just put in this sheet money and we are going to do, hmm, I think a fair amount for everyone. Although we have to take into account bills. We do have to take into account bills and rent and things like that. Um, so actually let me wait until we get our first bill in the mail to see what we're working with and then I'll come up with a good like reasonable amount that everyone should share. All right, so she is working on um, making herself some dinner right now. Um, we're gonna check and see what the couple's up to. They're still standing outside. They really need to go back to their trailer and cook some food or something. Um, so I'm just going to have her serve dinner now. She is a vegetarian, so she cannot eat meat. Um, so she's going to be the cook of the house. Um, she's going to make some vegetable dumplings. Um, now, I don't think I placed any fire alarms in here, and that is definitely something that we need to do because it's going to be hard to watch all these sims at the same time. A fire is going to start. I mean, that is just inevitable. 
So we're gonna put, I yeah, we're gonna put that there. Um, I don't think I have one here. All right, that's fine. And then we're gonna put one in our single mom home here. Don't think she has one either. It's really bad. Um, I like didn't even think about putting these in there, but that's definitely something that, although when you think about it in The Sims 4, there's no fire department. So it's like, yeah, it'll alert you, but you still have to put out the fire. So it's like, okay, what's the point of these? Um, okay, she's eating. Um, they are going back to their trailer and she's cooking. Um, and then what is our hottie here doing? He's just standing there. Okay, whatever. Um, he needs to have some fun. So she, he's just going to watch a movie. He's also a gym rat, by the way. Um, she is more into yoga. His girlfriend is more into like yoga and things like that. Um, but he's a gym rat. So they actually have a lot more in common. And I'm not going to like, I'm going to make it kind of like a slow thing. Like they're going to build up a friendship, I think. And then they're going to realize that they were actually meant for each other. And then he's going to be uh, Maddie's new daddy. <laughs> I did not mean for that to uh, rhyme, but you know. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Okay, she's playing with... She's playing with her car, um, but she really needs to go potty, so... I'm gonna have our mommy here help us go to the potty and... Her attention will go up, and then she really does need to go to bed because it is way past her bedtime. All right. What are you doing? Get up. Is she stuck? Oh, don't tell me she's stuck. Oh, man. I playtested this before, and it was fine. Okay, we're going to move this over. I think this is just something that, like, happens. Oh, and I don't have move objects on. That is probably why. She should probably be able to get out now. Yeah, okay. That should be fine for now. Um, hold on. Let me move this just a little bit more. Okay, that should be fine. Um, all right, now she's going to go ahead and do her thing. Okay. Um, you know what? She's in a diaper, so she can just use her diaper and... Um, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Like almost all pets, Xena can get inexplicably obsessed about things around the house. Keep an eye on your furry companions to discover their unique interests. Okay, so another thing that we am not really sure how to do, the cats are just kind of going to wander around each of the trailers. Um, I don't know how to just keep them in her trailer. Um, I know that you can disallow pets. Um, lock door for everyone but pets all cats all dogs okay so what we can actually do is lock our door for all cats that way the cats aren't wandering in our house let's just do that for now um yeah i mean this cat's just gonna chill for now and that's fine and actually it is just kind of funny how the cats just love this house specifically for some reason which is weird because it's Bonnie's house that has all the stuff for the cats. Like, she's the one that has the cat food. Okay, great. Peanut's home. Um, hopefully, he's going to eat his food because it looks like he might be hungry. Um, Bonnie is hungry, and she needs to use the bathroom. So, I'm going to have her use the bathroom first and then get herself something to eat. Who's here? Who? Why? You know what? She probably sensed the cats, and she just had to check it out. Couldn't help herself. Um... She needs to use the bathroom. Come on. These Sims do not take care of themselves at all, do they? Here, let me make sure Free Will's on. Um, because if it's not, this is going to be a disaster. Um, game options. Gameplay. Oh, autonomy is off. Okay. No, that is not going to work for us. All right, we definitely have to turn that on. Um, the Sims have to do something. I cannot be controlling their every move or else I would not do this. All right, he's coming back home. Um, I think. Why? Oh, he just, okay. Uh, he just straight attacked that bush. There was something in there he didn't like. Don't really know, but at least he's not coming in the house. Oh my goodness. You need to put her to bed. Okay, she's checking on her, so 
Yeah, it is like really, really way past her bedtime. Yikes, Xena has been bitten by a squirrel. Squirrel bites may cause illness, so keep an eye on your furry friends. And Hannah reached parenting level one. So we can go quickly through the traits. Um, Hannah here is a super parent. That's what her aspiration is. And she is family oriented, ambitious, romantic, and domestic. Um, so she wants to reach the top of her career, which we still need to find a job. That's one of the tasks I'm going to do here. Um, and then she's family oriented. So she gets really happy around her family and please put Madison to sleep. Um, and she, can she not get there? You know what? I wonder if she can't get there because of the car. So we're going to put that in there and then maybe she can here. Um, um, but yes, um, she wants to reach the top, the top of her career. She's romantic, um, which will help in, um, her quest to seducing Brady here. So that'll definitely help. But she's also just a naturally flirty person. She likes going on dates and meeting interesting people, but she definitely wants to, ah, uh, okay, whatever. I guess she's just going to have to put herself to bed. Um, I don't really know what the problem is with that. I mean, there's nothing blocking the bed. I do know that it is a very small bedroom, but it's a very small trailer, and it's hard to fit two bedrooms in there. So, ooh, she's got bags under her eyes. Poor little thing. So those are Hannah's personality traits. Um, Brady is very similar. Um, so he is, so he wants to find a soulmate. That's his, like, ultimate goal. Um, but once he does find the soulmate, he wants to eventually have kids. So he has fulfilled his first, um, have a boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, he does have his girlfriend now. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, you know what? I think I'm going to change his aspiration to family. Um, yeah, because like what he really wants in life is to have a family. Um, that's what he really wants, and that is the issue with him and his girlfriend. Oh, shoot. Yeah, she's just kind of in her house. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm okay with the cats coming and going. Um, as long as we change this. Let's see. Allow access to households. Lock door for specific sim. Lock door for everyone. Okay, so we're just going to do it this way. We're going to lock the door for everyone but Hannah. And then Maddie should be able to get in still because she's a toddler. Um, and then we're just going to, I think that should be fine, but we don't want, yeah, and now she's hanging out in there is the problem. Um, is that we don't really want her hanging out in there. So we're going to do, I'm going to do it this way. Lock door for everyone but Brady. So Brady can use that door and then lock door for everyone but Myla. That way she can use the back door to go in and he can use the front door. And then for our cat lady here, I forgot her name already, Bonnie, we're going to lock door for everyone but Bonnie. And then we're going to lock the back door for everyone but Bonnie, and then we have to do the same thing for here. Um, we have to lock door. Hold on. I wonder if we can, can we do it for toddlers? Lock door for everyone but Madison. That way she can get into. Okay, this should work now. Um, now everyone has their own house and it's locked for everyone except for those household members. So we are going to see how this plays out. Only thing that is going to happen is that the cats are going to roam around. But that is okay. I'm fine with the cats roaming around. It's a little bit more realistic to have just random cats come up to your door than have random people. Oh, no. It looks like Xena's sick. Poor, poor kitty. Um, oh, no, not Xena. Peanut. Okay. Um, so we are going to actually have to take her to the vet, it looks like. Um, Let's go ahead and take her to the vet clinic. Okay, and on that note, guys, I'm going to end this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really excited to start this new Let's Play. Um, this is something that I've wanted to do for a while is just to create my own storyline and do a Let's Play. And I never thought that it would happen this way from inspiration from a speed build. So I'm very, very excited. Um, so hopefully in the next episode, um, we'll get this cat taken care of here. Um, we'll build our relationship with Hannah and Brady and we'll continue 
continue to take care of little Madison. So um, I hope you guys have a great day, night, evening, or morning, wherever you are, and I will see you guys later. Bye.